I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise is called Siamese Sprints because I force myself to make quick decisions. I try to make decisions in under two minutes. And that's mainly to practice for playing online because when you play at SiamesMahjong.com, you have two minutes to make a decision or the game will discard for you. Another reason why I like to practice is to prepare for playing in a tournament. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. The guideline I use is two minutes. If you're a beginner to this style, give yourself four minutes. If you're an intermediate player, give yourself three minutes. Eventually, push yourself to that two minute mark. Then you'll be able to play confidently online or maybe even in a tournament. Let's roll the dice to see which player we are. I rolled a four, so we're going to be player two. Evens would be player two, odds would be player one. So we're gonna get 27 tiles for the first sprint. Whoa, that was a comedy of errors. We have flowers, one of each dragon, two, three, four, five, pung, eight, nine. So the pungs, that's the strongest, the strongest multiple. We have eight, nine, eight, nine. I think I would probably try the eight, nine consecutive run hand. So let's put those there, that there. Maybe even a pair hand. Eight, nine. Eight, nine. Eight, nine pair hand. Eight, nine pair hand. Okay, then here, two, three, four, five souths. Potential year hand or maybe consecutive run. This is pretty light. I think I would do two through five consecutive run. So we have two through five, maybe even a quint, if we can get some jokers. Two, three, four, five. If we get a one, we could play one through five consecutive run the first hand. I would hold these for options, maybe even these. Since one through five is our range, we might be able to use those, but probably not. Four, five, four, five. I would hold them and discard these first. Hold this for joker bait. Discard these, joker bait. Probably these would go next. Discard those, these, joker bait. Let's just put these back. I don't think these are stronger than those two, three, four, five. So let's say that we were to discard all those. That would be nine discards, which is not bad. Nine discards, including Joker bait. So I don't think that's too bad. And this would be a pair hand. This hand is one away from ready. All we need is a nine bam or a green dragon and we'll be ready to win on this. That, that's a strong, that's probably a winner there. This is going to take a while. Maybe a quint if we get the one, one through five consecutive run first hand. Let me know what you think about this. If you would do something different here, write sprint one and what you would do with these tiles.
look at all these wins I would probably play a news hand maybe even a year hand but maybe news concealed then for the other one we've got a pung of eights here's a eight eight six seven eight five through eight five six seven eight let's just hold those numbers and take a peek five six seven eight okay seven eight five six seven five six seven eight eight five six seven eight eight five six seven eight eight fourth hand down under consecutive run as an option we could do five six seven eight eight so i think i would hold all these tiles discard those first five six seven eight eight or five six seven eight eight or we could do like numbers with eights i think i'd keep that dragon and that one like numbers with eights too so that's kind of a lot of disc of um, options but there's equal potential i think probably like numbers with eights is stronger than the five six seven eight eight because these are all singles and they need to be pairs at least here we could use jokers it is concealed though and this one you can claim i do think this is stronger though but i would still hold these for this down here as options so we're in between consecutive run and like numbers and then here the news concealed hand discard those first let me know what you think about this plan this would be sprint two if you would do something different write that in the comment section below we could maybe do the news pair hand with eights but we'd have to throw one of our pungs. We'd have to lighten that. I'd rather use it. I think I would do it this way because we need an, a second hand. If we used eights with news, that would completely deplete all the multiples. And we'd have only singles to work with. Maybe five, six, or six, seven with flowers, but it would be really light. I think this would be better because we're sharing the multiples are split out into two different hands share the wealth share the strength i guess in this case so on to sprint three Okay, wow look at that three four five six seven eight nine i'd play that consecutive run pair hand here one two three four five six seven consecutive run pair hand right there up here sevens seven five twelve addition lap I'd hold this for a plan B. So seven discards. Addition, seven, five, 12, or seven, five, bam, one, but we're using the five, bam here. So that's pretty unlikely. Eight discards. Addition, pair hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need five, six, and nine. That's not bad for a pair hand. That could even be a winner. 
This one is going to take some building. We could Kong there. We could even Kong here, but we need some help. Let me know what you think about Sprint 3. If you would do something differently here, write Sprint 3 in the comment section below. Let's see how things went with timing. When I first started doing Siamese Mahjong, I gave myself a two minute guideline as an average for three sprints. But now that I play online and there is a two minute timer for that first discard, I want to make decisions in under two minutes for each sprint. So let's see how things went with this exercise. Sprint one, two minutes, 11 seconds. For that sprint, the game would have discarded a tile for me. Sprint two, one minute, 57 seconds. I had three seconds to spare. I could have gotten a tile out, I think. Sprint three, one minute, 27. So I would have been fine on sprint three. I think as an average, I'm okay. Definitely under a two minute average. So for playing in a tournament, I'd probably be all right. But playing online for one of those hands, the game would have tossed a tile for me. Could have been one that I needed and then you'd have to recover. So practice with sprints if you want to play online. Train yourself to make quick decisions, at least at that in initial discard. And then later in the game, you have 10 seconds for each pick or discard to make a decision. So this is a great exercise if you want to quicken your decision making and build your confidence. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of sprints for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.